Hello, thanks for joining us on another edition of your program, Skill Sports on this channel. My name is Jide Olanurant. On today's show, we will be talking pool as well as snooker. And uh, so many things we've lined up for you. There are special highlights for you. We call it the match of the week. I expect this to happen every week on the show. Once again, thanks for joining us. Gideon Orlando is my name, and uh, let me welcome my partner, uh, Joaquin Midara, joins me as well. Joe, good to have you on the show again. Gideon, my pleasure as usual. Joe, we, like I said the, during the introduction, that uh, we will be talking more of uh, snooker as well as um, uh, pool. And uh, it's not a surprise that uh, while we are talking about pool and snooker, we are talking it courtesy of what Matchroom is doing through this to get sports. Yes. And um, these are some of the things we will look at um, on today's show. And of course, our match of the week will be about the Chinese eight ball pool. Sure. These are some of the things we'll be looking at. We've got a, a, um, a player profile today that also we will be uh, doing, as well as uh, some of the things that will make your uh, make your day very, very interesting. That is it. Okay, let's just go on a short break for the news round now. And when we come back, we'll be looking at um, the pool as well as the snooker gist that we have. Welcome back. It's still Q Sport right here on this channel. My name is Jide Alano, and still with me is Joaquin Midada, that is who is my uh, sidekick on the show as well. <laughs> Joe, <laughs> uh, let's look at the. Uh, we, we have the pool champion uh, championship uh, yeah, league that happened to, and uh, it, it, it happened in the UK. Um, few. Days after that, we had the Snooker also Championship too. Um, very interesting. The Pool Championship League, the Champions League Snooker also took place. And uh, uh, we must say that uh, it was good to see that um, the games are back now. Yes, the games are back. Um, the, we like call it Q Sports. There's so much happening in Q, Q Sports. Even as we are talking right now, the qualifiers for the World Championship is taking place and uh, the World Championship is going to start just in a couple of weeks, not up to three weeks from now. So quite a lot is really happening when it comes to Q-Sports. Uh, two weeks back, yes, we, we did have um, Predators Champions mm -hmm. League uh, mm -hmm. pool mm -hmm. that uh, Alban, that's Abba Oshi World. Oshi World, exactly. Great event. The Austrian master. Yes, win for an him. Austrian. I remember uh, he did win the nine ball. He was, his, he was actually the 2016 nine ball champion. Wow. So uh, his victory against uh, Arcada was not a fluke. Uh, something that is important for us to note, especially because of we are more interested here in how do we encourage African players to take their game very, very serious? Because um, Matrum is doing so many events and which is open to the world. And if we do not up our game, somehow, somehow, Africa will be shortchanged because we will not have any African player play in some of these events. And that happened in in the in in the championship league pool, the data championship mm -hmm. league pool. The beauty of the event afar for me was that someone like 
uh, Oshi. Okay. That is how bad. Mm -hmm. He started slow. Exactly. I was going to come to that because uh, at some point, it didn't look right from there. It didn't look that how he was going to be the last man standing at the end of the day. Sure. It was he, because at, at the point when I started seeing some of the, uh, I started seeing glimpses of the fact that he, he's coming back was when he played against, I, I can't remember the, the actual particular game that he played, that he won all the five rounds. Five zero. Straight, five zero. For, for, for Alban, he, he, he had to play 52 games. That shows that because he was, he was involved in virtually every of the rounds and, you know, um, and that is given enough to make up for uh, the number of days they have had to, the pandemic has, uh, you uh, know, kept, denied kept them, all, kept them all of that. So away. it was a good time for them. And uh, I must give kudos to the organizer as well as the players. It's good to see them. And I remember one, one other thing he said also after uh, the post-match conference where he had to said he's been able to notice some things about his game, the weakness, his strength, and the fact that he is coming back. You know, most of them, they missed out a lot, the months out, you know, um, not playing and not playing and what they love, they're not pool, and they, they, are good to, to back, they are good to be back now. That's a good one for them. And I will say once again, congratulations to Albin Uchan, who won the pool championship. And straight, let's quickly move straight to another one, which is uh, the Bed Victor Championship League snooker champion, the, the uh, snooker champion, yep. uh, the, the league cha uh, snooker, championship league snooker. Let, yeah. let's, talk, let's talk about that. Karen Wilson also won that. Um, <laughs> another it, interesting... It, yes, it, it, it's nice there. for me. Uh, what Matchroom is doing okay. for Q Sports, it's, it's great as far as I'm concerned uh, because they've created a lot of events mm. that have different formats. Like this particular Bet Victor Championship League, you have it, it's an invitational, mm. so uh, you cannot say, I am good, or you, you cannot claim any right. Mm -hmm. The important thing is that you must be invited to play. And this particular event that took that started, it, did, it was not actually a one-day event or a two-day event. It actually started in what? In January. And we had, they had had several groups of matches mm -hmm. that have gone on since January. So for what was shown on, on television was actually the final of the stage three. And that was a very good one for, for us. We saw some very, 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 very beautiful snooker. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful snooker. And um, uh, something that is also worth noting is that it was a lot of money. 205,000 pounds was the prize money that was distributed yeah, exactly. for that particular Event the winner went away with twenty nine thousand three hundred uh, twenty nine thousand three hundred pounds. That is that is no, no well, small money. Making up for the time like that they had to be, you know, be, be you know on the sideline doing nothing. That that's a good way to come back, really. And uh, I know they they can't wait for other championship that have uh, been lined up. The calendar is full when yeah. you look at the calendar for this yes. year. So, um, because so it's an invitation now, mm -hmm. we, some of the invited players were the best in pool. Mm -hmm. You had Jude Trump, he was there. John Hegis was there. Uh, Mark Selby was there. The whole, you can't talk about snooker anywhere. Mm -hmm. You can't talk about snooker anywhere without calling the Avan terrible himself, Ronnie Sullivan. Mm -hmm. He was also invited. Zui Yoling was invited. Graham Dot was invited. And all of these players participated in the event. Another beautiful thing that is worth noting here that is that Kari Wissi made 32 centuries. 32 centuries throughout that event. That means he scored above 100 in 32 in matches. matches and it is worth not taking note of that because right now, in the ongoing LCC Open 
put on a snooker event that is taking place here in, in Lagos, okay. the highest so far is 36. Most 36 points. Usually under so 40. It it's tells usually, you. Most times it's usually under 40. Yeah, that is here that. in <laughs> Africa. It tells yes, you okay. that we have so much. The gap is very, very, very wide. Like what Emily Fraser said when mm -hmm. you interviewed her, mm -hmm. that, is that, look, we in Africa, we need to what? We need to step, show, up, our step up our game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need to step up our game. And there's no way we can step up our game if we do not play tournaments, if we do not play tournaments. Uh, which, which uh, well, that means more tournaments to come. But that means that uh, those who love this game must rally around and make sure that uh, there is um, week in, week out, there are games to play. Uh, Competitive. So maybe one play. of the ways of promoting the games locally is um, uh, maybe at the end, maybe next week, mm -hmm. we will invite the maybe the winner of the, our local the call, ongoing tournament Sorry, can again. come in here mm -hmm. and uh, have the opportunity chat. for a chat with all the guests, and maybe then we, he will give us a first hand. If I use our a first hand appraiser of what the problems are. All right, that's it for uh, snooker, the best uh, Victor cha Champions League snooker. Uh, congratulations once again to Karen Wilson, who took home over 20, some 20,000 pounds or more for home, and that's good. And now um, I know that uh, the Q world, the Q sports world also, the focus right now will be on this uh, pool World Cup. The World Cup of Pool that is coming up in May, that is another massive one. Just a few weeks from now, we will be having. And right now, we've seen people confirm that they will be part of it. Uh, some, of the, uh, some of the names that caught my eyes are uh, the, uh, the fact that Albin Ochen and Mario, he will be, Aust will be representing Austria, and that's good. And uh, talking about, uh, it's going to be a mixed bag, really. It's going to be a mixed grill of the best of women um, and the men, you know, coming to uh, the, the pool side to play. And this time around, Kelly Fisher and Alice Fisher will be representing Great Britain B. We've got two Great Britain teams there. Um, they will be paired. Jason Shaw again, and Chris Merlin, Great, Great Britain one. Um, and Kelly Fisher and Alison Fisher. Alison will be coming all the way from the United States because this game will be played in Melton Kings uh, in, yes. in UK. Melton so, King is hosting quite a number of No, yeah, I think that's, he knows, that's, that's a good one. That means set of a lot of, the, they, 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 they are, they've been looking for, they've been denied some of these games and they want to have it and in full dose. Yeah. That's why they've decided. Yes, yes. yes. For, the, for the World Cup of Pool, once you use the word world, mm. once you use the word world, it means that players representing different nations and different countries will be invited for that particular event. Mm. Um, like we said the last time we were talking about, uh, for now, we do not know how many, how many, if I use the word, how many players or how many countries from Africa that will be invited for that event. Mm -hmm. But I can assure you that that particular event is being organized as Matrum, Matrum Multisports is organizing that event in partnership with the World Pool and Billiard Association. It makes us realize that we need to work. We in Africa, especially when we talk about Nigeria and we describe ourselves as the giant of Africa, that we need to step up. We need to step up so that Africa can be counted in some of these major events that, um, that they are holding when it comes to Q-Sports. Whether it's snooker, whether it's pool, eight ball or nine ball, whether it's um, uh, Chinese eight ball pool, we need to begin to take some of these sports pretty serious so that we'll be counted when major events are organized and will be invited to participate All right. in them. Well, uh, like I said, I hope that uh, it's left for those other countries, like you said, maybe in Africa, to also show uh, that uh, they are interested, to show that they really want to be part of that big league 
so, so to say. And uh, uh, right now, we just have about uh, nine countries that are, have uh, signified their intention to be part of that. And just uh, as I, we have two groups uh, of Great Britain, Great Britain, A and B, mm -hmm. aside that, Austria, Germany, Japan, Spain, Canada, uh, Netherlands, Finland, and Poland are the ones. So we still expect. I, I was shocked because when you look at the World Cup of Pool, China too has really played a big part, a huge role in this. But I don't know why they are not coming out. No, Maybe because of the pandemic. You, yeah, that, one that's is because what, of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Two, because you also no, no, realize that the Chinese are also promoting their own version of pool, mm -hmm. which is the Chinese mm -hmm. indoor pool. So I believe before the event starts, before the event starts, I believe China will confirm those who will come and represent them. Mm -hmm. Right. You will confirm those who come and represent them in the World Cup of Nine Ball Pool. The World Cup of Nine Ball Pool. But for me, we here, I think what is, we are more interested in is Africa must be counted. We cannot be left behind. That means um, CISAN, mm -hmm. SPA, and other African, APA, that is all African Pool Players Association, mm -hmm. We must begin to do. We must begin to do the right thing so that when such tournaments are organized, we will have top quality players that can go and showcase their skill. Right. So that's it. We hope that uh, just few days, a few weeks left now. But hopefully, we will see one people throw their one or two people throw their hearts into the ring from Africa. From Africa, as far as the World Cup of Pool is concerned. Okay, we go on a break for um, to just give you the profile of the player, the player, which other player that we should expect is. We also want to identify with the champion. Abin Ochan is the man we are profiling this week. We'll go show you the profile of Abin Ochan, and we'll be back. Don't go away. Welcome back. Okay, that was the profile of Albin Ochen, who just won the Matchroom Pool Championship. Um, kudos to him. Also, you, we should be seeing what he will be doing with his partner, Mario He. Um, two of them, Austrian. Let's see what they will be doing at the World Cup of Pool. If there is any team that I'm going to put my money on, maybe because I'm current from Albin Ochen and Mario He is what I will be putting my money on. That's a wise decision. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Uh, before we uh, sign off today, um, I know that uh, there is um, some events going on in Nigeria too, at the Lagos Country Club. Um, uh, these are some, of, like you said, we need to have more of it, and we hopefully on the show will keep telling, talking more about some of these competitions when they start. It, it, yes, one of the challenges we have here in Africa, especially in Nigeria, is that a sport like snooker, mm -hmm. we have somehow uh, branded it like an elitist sport. Okay. So before you can play, you, ha you have to join one of the big clubs. Mm -hmm. And this particular event is being held currently at the Lagos Country Club. Mm -hmm. um, some of the best players, snooker players, in Nigeria, they are going to. We have Wale Akintola, he's there playing. We have Gideon, uh, I think Gideon, he's there playing. Waliu Nojim, he's there playing. Victor Ukweku, mm. he's there playing. These are some of the players I think when it comes to a game like snooker, um, if supported, can do Nigeria proud, especially when, when it comes to the bigger stage. Either in Africa, it will take time for Africa to catch up with the 
on the global stage. But as at now, Victor Ikweku has the highest break at that particular tournament. Hopefully, we will have the winner of the event okay. in no distant time. At least at the end of the day, they will mention this person has won. We we'll invite mm. him here. Let him be our guest and let's talk about the event and talk about what the experience was like. All right. That's it for us on the show. Uh, we will leave you with the Chinese eight ball pool, uh, one of the events of 2019 uh, as uh, match of the week. That is what we are leaving you with. So enjoy the best of the Q spots and always remember to always pot and remain focused. Joe, thanks for coming with me. My pleasure.